Okay, so let's take a look at just the most simple way to use a while loop. Um, full disclosure, not my favorite way to use a while loop. Um, I usually try to find other ways to do this, um, but it does work. Let's say, for instance, I want the user to enter the word stop. So I'm going to build this up here. Um, so input into the word to use stop. That's pretty straightforward, right? We're going to ask a user to enter the word, and um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and comment that while we're here, right? We're so we're asking them for the word. That's all fine and dandy, you know, when we run it. Obviously, if they don't put in stop, nothing, nothing useful. Um, so a while loop can step in here. Um, to help us out, we could say, uh, before that happens, I want to do while user input is not equal to the word stop. I could also say is equal to some other word or is greater than or less than some number. Right? There are all these ways I can go at that. And of course, now that I've got a while loop, that needs to be indented. Um, now, did you see a problem with that? You would think, well, that's good, that's all I gotta do, but unfortunately, that's not exactly true because as you can see, we don't have a user input. Remember I said these, these uh, messages, these errors are trying to tell you something, don't ignore them. Um, once you learn to read them, it's pretty obvious what it's telling you. Uh, it's saying that the local variable, user input, is referenced before assignment. Well may not mean anything to you yet, but it should after this video. Referenced before assignment. That means I'm trying to use the variable user input before I create it. Well, what does that mean? Well, I create it here, right? User input gets assigned a value, stop, or whatever the person puts in. Unfortunately, I'm trying to use it way up here, way before I actually assign it anything. So the easiest thing for me to do is go ahead and create the variable now. And I don't have to give it any value. I can just say it's a string, right? So now I've got a value called user input, right? It's been created. I have now assigned it before I'm referencing it. So you can see here now, it should create the variable, and then it's going to ask user for the input test. Oops. Well, value stop. Right? It's going to look at and yes, Python is case sensitive. It's going to look at the value inserted and uh, test it to see if it's been given the value stop, right? But it's not inserted here, it's assigned way down here. So let's take a look now. Enter the word stop. Oops. Fix that. <laughs> I have such a hard time clicking between these two sides. I'm not gonna put in stop, I'm putting go. Or wait. Or stop in small letters. And finally it'll stop when I put in the word stop. So not exactly my favorite way to use a while. I far prefer the, the while true when I'm looping, um, but there are often really good reasons to explicitly test a value. Um, and this is a way to do it.